What our uh, study sought to do was to use the NISQIP, which is the, uh, the American College of Surgeons um, National Surgery Quality Improvement Project uh, data set, which includes data from about 400 hospitals in the United States and internationally, um, and tracks patients for 30 days uh, postoperatively. Uh, we use this database to compare for women who have breast cancer, so this does not include women simply undergoing prophylactic mastectomy alone. Uh, we looked at women with breast cancer and we uh, examined sort of what the perioperative complication rate was for women who had a double mastectomy versus a single mastectomy. And what we found were a couple of things. Number one, that um, as expected, the overall rate of medical complications was very low. And having a double mastectomy, regardless of the type of reconstruction, did not appear to affect medical complications. So myocardial infarction, pneumonia, sepsis, and venous thromboembolism. However, when we looked at surgical site problems, um, for women who had implant-based reconstruction, which was the majority of patients, they did have significantly higher rate of implant loss or a complication requir requiring removal of the implant, uh, as well as a higher rate of uh, reoperation within 30 days. And then all patients, regardless of how they uh, were reconstructed, had a higher uh, risk of requiring a transfusion. Um, and all of those patients also had a higher length, had a longer length of stay uh, in the hospital.